Saul has slain thousands, but David has killed ten thousands! What up, everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day and just enjoying life. It is your boy, Truth it. And today I'm here to talk to you about people who will love you the first day and then just out of nowhere will hate you the next. There's going to be times where there's going to be people who think you're the cat's meow. But really, and that's because you're doing things for them or you're behaving in a way that's acceptable to them. The second that they don't like what you do or don't like what you said, they turn on you like that. There's a phrase for them and I call them fair weather friends. Even King David had to deal with fair weather people. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, David kills Goliath and becomes a hero, a legend. They even had the song for him. Saul killed thousands, but David killed 10,000. David was like the most popular kid in high school. He was liked by everyone. Well, except Saul, because Saul wanted to kill him. He kept throwing spears at him. But that's neither here nor there. David was liked so much, he eventually became king. But be careful not to invest too much in all kinds of people, because sometimes those people will turn on you the first chance they get. David eventually became public enemy number one. Now, this doesn't always happen. We do have true friends that'll love us no matter what. Even if you disagree with them, even if you bump heads with them, they'll love you. Those people you invest in, you hold on to those people, you love those people. But there are those fair weather ones, like a lot of friends on Facebook. I have like 500 and something uh, friends on Facebook, and I know for a fact I don't know half of them. And half of them, as soon as I say something that they don't like, they are all over me. You don't like you, truth it. Truth it, you're stupid. Truth it, I don't like you. And when you invest in these people, it leaves you with a lot of disappointment. You get hurt sometimes because you feel like you invested a lot in these people and you're not getting it back. You're not reciprocating what you put into it. First Samuel chapter 30, some 12 chapters after the people of Israel were calling David a hero, the people were ready to stone David. The same people that were saying, David's killed tens of thousands or slain tens of thousands. They are ready to stone him to the Bible. In Samuel chapter 30, during the time of war, David and his men reached a place called Ziklag. They found it destroyed by fire and their wives and sons and daughters taken captive. So David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep. David was greatly distressed because the men were take, talking of stoning him. Each one was bitter in spirit because his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord his God. Truth it. Find your strength in the Lord. The Lord will not forsake you. Invest your time in the Lord. The Lord will not leave you. Stick with the Lord and invest in him and you won't have to worry about him hating you. The Lord's mercy endures forever. Well, I hope you liked this episode of Truth It. Uh, if you did, please click the thumbs up below. If you didn't like it, hey, leave a comment. Let me know what was wrong or what, what, I, what you didn't like it. I'm here for you. I want to make sure that you are entertained. I hope you have an amazing remainder of the day. And thank you for being the blessing that you are. Also, if there's any scripture or any subjects that you want me to comment on or talk about in an episode of Truth It, also leave that below too. Write about there and I'll be able to talk about it and I don't have no problem going into the word and studying the word and sharing with you what I'm getting from reading these scriptures truth it positive vibes only God bless I'll holla